Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. Okay, so on my channel, I talk about how these YouTubers be scamming their subscribers out of money, out of coin, causing a spectacle to manipulate their viewers for their own dollar at the end of the day. And what I want to ask you guys is, was the Logan Paul versus KSI fight the biggest scam of 2018? Now, your girl did not watch the fight. I did not watch it. I'm not giving them 10 of my dollars. They already have millions of people. The fight, okay, so I looked at the stream of the fight. Like, I went to it to see. They have 5.2 million views on the stream, and they are charging $10 per view. Add that up for your girl, like. Boy, are they making money off of this fight. And that is me looking at the stream from five hours ago. But besides me checking out the stats of the stream, because I was like, you know, I tried to look at it because I wanted to watch the full fight and I wanted to like give my honest opinion on the fight. But being that I'm not going to give them my coin, they already got 5.2 million people who done gave them their coin. I'm good, love, enjoy. But what I wanna know from you guys, the people who watched it, the people who paid your money, because I seen a clip, um, I seen a clip. There are clips of the fight, like small clips, but it's not the full fight. The clip that I seen, it looked like they were like tap dancing around and you know what I'm saying, not really going in and fighting. And mind you, it was a small clip. They could have had more aggressive moments and they could have really fought it out. Um, but you guys let me know what you think. There are several people who watched the fight and they think that it was the biggest scam and they scammed their, their followers, their subscribers. I wanna know what you guys think. If you watch the fight, I want to know your honest opinion. Like, is there a certain cap on it's just solely for entertainment? Like, I understand that, you know, seeing two of people's favorite YouTubers, I don't even know. The, the KSI guy has 19 million subscribers because I went to his channel as well. I don't even know who he is. And I've heard of Logan Paul just because of, like, controversy and things like that. But, um... He's a favorite to 19 million people. And Logan Paul has, let's see how many uh, subscribers Logan Paul has. Logan Paul has 18 million. So Logan Paul has 18 million. KSI has 19 million. So they have a lot of, lot, a lot, a lot of subscribers. They have a big fan base. So what I'm hearing based off of what the internet is saying without me actually watching the fight is that the fight was rigged, that they didn't give like a authentic fight, that they rigged the fight just so that they can come back, have a rematch and scam y'all out of some more money. Correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't watch it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I did not watch it. But is this type of action okay? Like if we're gonna say that certain things are for entertainment. So 19 million people want to see their fave go head to head with another YouTuber. Does it matter if it's faked for views at that moment? When it comes to having to pay $10 to watch it and 5.2 million people viewed it and all of the th all of the money that they're going to make from it, like is that right in the lines of entertainment? I know a lot of you guys say it's for entertainment, you know, when things aren't authentic and things aren't real, you guys like glorify certain things like that and you make excuses and because you're entertained even though it's fake it makes it okay well in this case what i want to know is being the scale and the magnitude of profits that they are generating from this is it okay to fake a fight i get so many people thinking that fake stuff is cool and me, myself, I, I don't like that. Like, I feel like if they're going to tell their fans that they're fighting, fight. Have a, have a real fight. Like, don't have a fight and rig it. And like I said, I didn't watch it. 
But if I don't see people going back and forth saying, no, it's real, no, it's real, no, it's real, because normally it'll be, it's fake, it's real, it's fake, it's real, it's fake, it's real. No, you're not, you're you're a hater because you're saying it's fake. Um, you're a hater because you're saying it's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I normally see back, and, I don't see back and forth within this fight. I, every single comment that I've seen around this fight, people who watched it are saying it's rigged, it's rigged, it's rigged, it's rigged, it's, rigged, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. It's fake. Was this the biggest scam yet in YouTube history? Did they run off on the plug? Or do you think of this in comparison to the WWE? Like, you know it's fake, but you're entertained, so oh well. Or were you expecting and hoping to see a clear winner and not them declare it to be a draw? And if you watch the fight, you believe it's real and you believe that one person should have won over the other, who do you think the actual winner was? Do you think the winner was Logan Paul? Do you think the winner was KSI? But anyways, here is a couple comments of people who watched the fight and what they thought about it. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let's talk about it in the comments. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more celebrity news and gossip and YouTubers tea. But in order to do that, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Let's become pals. I talk to y'all in the comment section. I even tell y'all a thing or two, the people that pop off. You know, I pop off right back. You know, it's live in my comment section. But in order to join in on the party, like, you ain't even gotta be searching for my name, finding my videos. Even if you hate me and you're a hater of mine, subscribe. You are gonna be watching it anyway. Like, let's, let's, let's become a family. And in order to become a family, you gotta hit that subscribe button. You got to hit that like button and let's chat in the comment section. Do you think that this was the biggest scam of 2018? And is it okay even if it was fake because of the purposes of entertainment? And as long as they're entertaining their subscribers, it's okay. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out.